spice up your life with this amazing arabiata sauce that packs a spicy, flavorful punch in every bite. Get ready to impress your taste buds. This one is really delicious. Mm. It's super spicy. To our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now this sauce has loads of different uses, just a few simple ingredients and we cook them all together to make a really fantastic sauce. So let's get cooking. First of all we're going to peel and finely dice an onion. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of extra virgin oil to a pan. Not only is extra virgin olive oil a traditional ingredient for arabiata sauce, but it also adds a lovely earthy peppery taste to the sauce. Add the onions into the pan. We're going to cook these onions for about 10 to 15 minutes on a really low heat until they're lovely and soft and sweet, but we don't want them to be browned. So keep stirring as you're cooking them. Next in goes four fat cloves of garlic that have been peeled and minced, along with a teaspoon of chilli flakes. You can add more if you like it really spicy. Give that a stir together and cook for a further two minutes. Next in we're going to add in the tin tomatoes. Now San Marzano tomatoes are the gold standard of tin tomatoes for arabiata sauce. They've got a thicker flesh, less seeds, they're less acidic, they're sweeter and they've got more flavour. Now you can go with normal plum tomatoes if you wanted to and add a little bit of sugar, but these really are the best ones to go for when you're making arabiata sauce. So I'm adding in four tins, uh, which are 400 grams each. Also adding in a tablespoon of tomato puree or paste if you're in the US, plus half a teaspoon each of salt and freshly ground black pepper. So I'm going to turn up the heat to medium and allow the tomatoes to come to a simmer and then we're going to turn down the heat and simmer them gently for about 45 to 50 minutes until that sauce is lovely and thick. And make sure you break up the tomatoes with a wooden spoon every so often as you go. Now look how lovely and thick and rich that sauce looks now. Did you know that arabiata translates to angry, which I guess refers to the heat and the spicy fieriness of this sauce. Now to finish off this sauce, we're gonna add a really good handful of chopped basil and another pinch of salt and pepper. I really love the versatility of this sauce. You can use it as a dipping sauce, as the tomato base for pizza, you can serve it with meatballs, but my absolute favorite way to serve it is with fresh pasta. I absolutely love the way the sauce clings to the pasta, so you get lots of lovely taste in every single bite. This is gonna be fantastic. Once that pasta's cooked, then drain it off and add it straight into the arabiata sauce and toss it all together so the sauce thoroughly coats the pasta. Then divide up the pasta with that spicy arabiata sauce between bowls and top with a really good sprinkling of parmesan, plus some black pepper and some fresh basil leaves. Now there are sauces and then there's this amazing, rich, spicy arabiata sauce. Now if you wanted to make your own fresh pasta to go with this arabiata sauce, then check out my three ingredient pasta recipe. See you next time. Mm.